This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. Madu and right now I am in the historical city of Malacca. Now this is where it all began, all right? The history of our country started right here from the beginnings of the Malacca Sultanate right to the birth of an independent nation we now call as Malaysia. And today we get to witness our friends create their own history to prove their might in science, mathematics and general knowledge. They're going to outsmart, outplay and outwit each other on a head-to-head -head challenge in the first leg of RHB the Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011 in Dataran Pahlawan Malacca Mega Mall. So let's not waste any more time. Let's all see what they're all up to. Let's go. Bang. Arch Be The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge is a science, math and general knowledge challenge where students represent their school in two categories, the lower and upper secondary. Winners will then represent their state in the national finals in Kuala Lumpur. Teams from various schools from all over Malacca have already registered and I can see the support they're getting from the teachers, their family and their parents. It's crazy. You know why? Because it's like history in the making, okay, inside they're all getting ready, they're psyched up. I'm nervous and really excited for them. Let's, let's go see this. Uh, we came here by the school bus and we reached here at 9.15am. We were a bit panicked because we thought we were going to be late as I left my IC at school. Our parents supported us greatly by allowing us to come together during weekdays, have sleepovers and study together. So, yeah, and it provided a lot of moral support too. Before coming today, I really, I really tried to fit in preparation. Honestly, I think we do have a chance this year. We can feel the tension and excitement inside of them, but nevertheless, they are ready and eager to prove their might in RGB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. So let the challenges begin! The first question for 2011, right here in Malacca, is as follows. Mr. Crooked Thief told his students to stand around in a circle with a separation distance of 1.5 meters between them. In the circle, the third student directly faced the 11th student. What is the parameter of this circle? We're looking for 24 meters. 33 teams getting it right. Our present governor of Bank Negara is the first woman appointed to the post. Who is she? I want her name. Send the answer we're looking for is C. Tansri Dr. Zethi Akta Aziz. 42 teams getting that one right. When I contract, I exert force, but when I relax, I do not. My brothers and sisters are all over the body and are important for movement, but I am the largest. Who am I? Answer is buttock muscles. Only eight of you getting it right. So pat yourselves on the back if you got that right. A length of wire of 72 centimeters is cut into two and bent into the shape of two squares of different sizes. If the area of the larger square is four times the smaller square, what is the length of one side of the smaller square? And the answer we want is six centimeters. 23 teams getting it right. I am a singing musical group home to the Malay Peninsula. I usually do not use instruments. Who am I? Time's up. The answer we want. We're looking for DK Bara. 14 teams getting it right. Mr. Cockroach told Mr. Prawn, I'm an insect and my body is divided into the head, 
thorax and abdomen. Mr. Prawn replied, I'm a cephalothorax. What is a cephalothorax? Time's up, and the answer we want. We're looking for, there we go, A, an animal whose head is fused with the thorax. 13 of you getting it correct. Pakcik, cencaluk 112 botol. Ha? 112? That's right. 112 number of teams that is competing in this first leg in Malacca. And we just showed you guys who got to go to the next round. Congratulations! Now, let's see how they fare in this next round. The hands-on challenge. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct a model of a water slide with a minimum height of 1.2 meters and slide with a minimum length of 1.2 meters featuring spiral curves lubricated with running water. Kind of tough, isn't it? After the judging is complete, the teams will then explain their creation in an oral presentation. We use this big bottle as a base so that it will be a strong structure, a structure with a Bigger base area is more stable than a smaller one. And for the F4, F5 category, the teams have to construct a model of a lighthouse complete with a rotating light with a minimum height of 1.2 meters. The hands-on challenge not only requires knowledge in science or math, but they need to have creativity and of course, teamwork. The judges again will scrutinize the unique creations and give points before the teams begin their oral presentation. All these are then followed by a buzzer quiz session for both categories. The motor we use here is a Tamiya car motor which spins around 18,000 RPM which is very really fast for a lighthouse. So with these long wires, we managed to reduce the speed of the motor. In March 2011, Dr. Lee Chong Wei won the All England Single Badminton title. Your question, who won the same title in the year 2010? Dato Lee Chong Team B, first to buzz in, what's your answer? Dato Lee Chong Wei. Dato Lee Chong Wei is the correct answer. Gaffa came across two beakers with colorless solutions labeled lime water and lime juice. He knows one of them is drinkable. What is the main difference between lime water and lime juice? Team B, first of all, what's your answer? Lime water, when uh, exposed to carbon dioxide, it turns cloudy. No, the judge says no. So minus one point for Team B. Team C, what's your answer? Lime water is alkaline and lime juice is acidic. Correct, we have a correct answer. Congratulations. Team C, two points for Team C. Yeah? What is the unit digit of the product of 1 plus 5 to the power 23? Multiply 1 plus 5 to the power 86. Team E, and your answer is? 6. Six is the correct answer. Each box represents a letter. Unravel the word using these three clues. It is a king in its own right. It builds or requires a nest and takes care of it. It's a venomous snake. Three clues there for you. Team C, your answer is? King Cobra. King Cobra is the correct answer. Really venomous indeed. Woo! There you have it. They've all just completed the final round, but I bet you inside they're feeling so relieved but anxious at the same time. Aren't you? I'm not quite sure of my chances, but the seniors said um, we have a high chance of winning. So if the seniors can do it, we can. Oh yes, I really do want to win. Whether we can win, I'm not so sure because I saw a lot of capable people this morning. And so I have my doubts. But I think if you do well enough, we have our chances. RHB the Star Mighty Minds National Challenge, the Malacca State Challenge. SMK Gata Barang in third place. Second prize going to three ladies. They are from SMK Canosa Convent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Champions, RHB the Star, Mighty Minds National Challenge, Malacca, going to College Yayasan Saad. They've been consistently high performers. I believe their seniors have made the national level as well quite a few times. Give them a round of applause. They deserve it.
champions. These students will represent Malacca at the national finals in October. Third place, SMK Gatabrang Team 2. Second place, SMJK Yokbin. SMJK Yokbin. Champions, Orange Be the Star, Mighty Minds National Challenge, Malacca. SMK St. Francis. The moment they announced the winners, we felt very happy because we didn't expect ourselves to win. The last time we joined this competition, we didn't make it through the second round. We felt very relieved also because we studied so hard and we practiced so hard. We worked so hard for this victory and when we finally got it, we were very relieved and happy. I would like to thank the teachers for their guidance and coming down here to support us meant a lot to us. And our seniors for the tips because we had no idea what it was going to be like here. And of course, friends and family who supported us all the way, they said we could when we thought our chances were going, getting lower and lower. There you go. The results are already out. Congrats to all the winners and to the losing teams. Don't be sad and never give up, okay? You guys tried your best and that's what's important. And you guys out there watching this, don't go anywhere. Because coming up next is the second leg of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. Now where? Well, you just have to wait and see.